We're going to cross live to uh, Auckland Airport where pictures show us that this plane, the Air New Zealand chartered flight from Wuhan, is coming in above Auckland Airport. If you are watching, if you're listening, uh, the plane is, well, we can see it coming in over Auckland Airport. It's due to land in just a few minutes. It's carrying about 200 people on board. Um, A number of those people, 11 other nationalities on there with the New Zealanders, about 95 New Zealanders there and as we are watching the pictures it's getting lower we can see the runway in the foreground and it is very close to touching down at Auckland Airport. Uh, I think we have our reporter standing by, Nita Blake Person is there at the airport, let's go to her now. Nita what are you (coughs) seeing there and what's happening? Kia ora Lisa, yes, oh, I don't know how long it'll take but we must be seconds away now from this flight touching down NZ1942, it's been in the air for about 11 and a half hours, 190 people, a long journey home, I'm at the airport car park nearby and there must be at least two dozen people here all very eagerly watching, you might be able to hear it behind me now, the roar of it, it's very close, just coming into the run- runway to land a little bit wobbly, but nearly there. A very long journey for some of these people. We know a lot had long drives to get to the airport to even make it. One person wasn't allowed to get onto that flight, but for 190 others, they are finally touching down just behind me now, and it looks like wheels down in Auckland Airport. So that's been a very long journey back for some people. Uh, Health officials, customs, airport staff will be doing all their best uh, to make sure that these people are processed very quickly. They're not going to be passing passing through any public spaces to limit any possible spread of the coronavirus. And then they are all getting on buses, all apart from 35 Australian nationals who will be boarding another flight back to Australia to their own quarantine facilities. But for about 150 uh, of those passengers, they're getting onto buses and they will continue their joint journey about 45 minutes north to the Whangaparaua Peninsula where they're going to be a hold up for about two weeks in quarantine facilities there at a uh, Navy base which has been uh, 40, 75 rather camper vans have been sent to today to help with accommodation in addition to the mess hall and the toilets and showers. We're not clear yet if those camper vans are uh, the only form of accommodation people will have or if that's in addition to dormitories but everyone who's on that flight which has finally touched down now, will be spending their first night there tonight once they get off in hopefully a short amount of time. And Nita, what do we know specifically about the other people who have hitched a ride with us, the non-New Zealand residents? Right, so from other than New Zealanders, there's people from about 11 nations. Australia, 35 nationals from Australia make up the bulk of that, but uh, mainly Pacific nations uh, make up the others. There were, um, uh, I understand, eight uh, British people uh, and people from various Pacific nations. They too are going to these quarantine facilities and will be there for two weeks along with the New Zealand health officials and the consular staff who all boarded that flight to Wuhan to make sure people could get back Back okay. Uh, New Zealand health, uh, New Zealand officials are still giving advice to New Zealanders who are in China and didn't make it on this flight that they need to ch- contact the airlines which are still operating out of there. If you're not in the Hubei province, there are still airlines operating and there are other ways out. But for a long, a lot of people, uh, this this flight home will be a, a big relief that they're finally back on New Zealand soil tonight. Thanks, Nita. That's our reporter, Nita Blake Person, joining us live there from Auckland Airport. If you're just joining us, that plane, the Air New Zealand flight chartered by the New Zealand government, bringing 190 evacuees from Wuhan back to New Zealand, has just touched down a matter of minutes ago. Those people will be processed and taken to a quarantine facility at Whangaparoa, which is north of Auckland, and they'll need to stay there for two weeks. If there are any further developments, we'll bring them to you during the show.